guys, this is Chica from Samosa Budget. Hope you're doing well. Today we're filming week five, technically, for April's meal plan, and then we'll be creating the shopping list together. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please remember to hit subscribe and hit like, and let's get right into the video. I didn't even put breakfast. I've got a rough draft here, but I imagine it's just gonna be a combo of cereal, or even porridge, because we haven't got time for porridge in the morning. We don't wake up early enough. I'm just gonna put cereal. And then for the weekend, I'm going to put pancakes. For lunch, we have got quite a few freezer home, homemade freezer meals that we're going to use up. First one being a corn stir fry, which is a freezer meal. So I'm just going to put F. And then for dinner, I'm going to put a leftovers from Saturday. And we're having kitchli gadi. So I'm just going to do elbow for leftovers. Tuesday for lunch, we're going to do veg fried rice. I'm just going to put F. I think we've got one and a half containers and I think we'll just polish that off. Dinner, we're going to have plant burgers with some sort of either wrap. We've got some halloumi as well to use up. So I'm going to put halloumi so I remember to defrost that. That freezes really well by the way. And then for Wednesday, we've got a veg pasta mix in the freezer and we've got some frozen tagliatelle freezer too. Wednesday is my husband's birthday so I'm cooking a lamb curry and we're going to have that with chapati, I call them rotlies. Thursday we're going to have Thai green curry with rice and that's also a freezer meal. Thursday I've put leftovers because I imagine there'll be loads of lamb curry left. Friday for lunch I've put omelette down because it's quite quick. For dinner we're going to have chicken burgers. Saturday I want to cook aloo gobi which is potatoes and cauliflower curry so it's a dry curry I would say really like it we just learned how to make it the two weeks ago and really enjoyed it and then for dinner we will have chicken wing Sunday we're just gonna have pancakes for a late breakfast or for brunch and then we're gonna have kichdi and gadi again so this is a mung bean porridge which is savory and then gadi which is a turmeric yogurt which is tempered it's really lovely and i'm just gonna put that just to be like oh, we're gonna eat that around lunchtime looking at these we've got one two three four we've got four freezer meals that'll be for at least four containers or spots in the freezer that we will be able to empty because there'll be quite a bit of leftover from the lamb curry and then we are also hoping to make a slow cooker dal makhani to boost our freezer meals inventory for shopping list based on the meals that we've planned out we have got to get one and a half kilos lamb chicken wings and then fruit and veg lettuce peppers there is some weekend cooking that we wanted to do we wanted to make um chili paneer so that involves quite a bit of peppers and onions chili aubergine cauliflower potatoes coriander garlic spring onions and then store cupboard Ooh. let me go for snacks we need some crisps um chocolate dog and we were out of pot or soda squash which is cordial i guess tonic orange juice and beer and then store cupboard we need franks for the hot wings and then for dairy we need egg cheese milk and i'm just gonna put two because we freeze one and use one is that it okay cool so this is our shopping list and um, if you'd like to follow me on instagram and then i'll let you know how i do in real life versus real life shopping shopping list versus what i actually bought and see what the figure difference is there with regards to the meal plan these are the meals that we're planning to have but we can have these meals at any point during the week so we might decide to swap out this tuesday dinner with say saturday because chicken wings are still fresh and it means that we don't have to freeze it and then defrost it so we can do that we basically just want to build a bit of flexibility so i've got two days of leftovers and most of these meals are sort of you can just leave them like the lamb curry with the bowl a bit of tlc at the beginning and then i just put it into the slow cooker and let it do its thing so that is the plan for the last week of april and the first week of may and don't forget the first step is always to do inventory which is what we did and we've got a rough draft where is it we've got a rough draft of what we've had from the previous week and then i just cross off anything we've used um let me see if i can show you this is our inventory and then i just updated it and just messily 
crossed things off as and when. I know the week is done and the week is to up. So then I know how many freezer meals we have for the next time. And then if you guys didn't catch it on Instagram, I am offering this printable for free where it is just an inventory for your freezer. In the free version, you can just put whatever headings you like and I probably will tweet this a little bit further, but I've got a bigger section here to write because even I struggled and my right handwriting isn't massive. So we will be able to clear down a fair chunk of these home freezer meals, but I will need to print a second page because the amount of stuff that goes in like other, which is hash brown or chip, things like that, it's just, they all will take up a lot of space on this page and I would like it categorized. So we are done for this week's meal plan and I'm really excited as we obviously have got a birthday and we haven't had this lamb curry since New Year's Eve is when I last made it and we're pretty much going into May now so that was exciting. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content please remember to hit the like button and remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!